In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix an issue with Microsoft Edge just flashing in Windows 11. So if I open up the start menu and I type in Edge and then I go to open up Microsoft Edge, it just flickers and it will not let me use the web browser. So this is a big issue because I want to use Microsoft Edge right now, but I'm unable to. So to resolve this issue, the first thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you now need to select settings. You now need to click onto Windows Update and you then need to click on to check for updates and ensure you have the latest Windows updates installed. If Windows does detect a new update, then as you can see, it will begin to download and install that update. Also, I have an option to install another update. I have the KB57262 update available. So if you do have an option to install a new update, then click on download and install for that also. So once you have installed the latest updates for Windows, restart your computer and then launch Edge and see if that resolved the issue. So the next thing you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in store. You now need to select Microsoft Store. Once the store has opened, you now need to select library in the bottom left hand corner. And you now need to click on get updates and it will now check to see if there are any new updates available. And once it has searched for all the latest updates, you then need to click on update all. As you can see, mine is currently still loading. If there was an update for the Microsoft Store, then the store will restart like mine just did. You can just go ahead and select library again, and then just go ahead and click on get updates, just to ensure that all the updates did install successfully. As you can see, a lot of them do say modified moments ago. And the update we're looking for is for Microsoft Edge, but you can see here there isn't any new updates for Microsoft Edge on my computer. But if you did detect a new update for Edge on your computer, then that's a good thing. Go ahead and launch Edge and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon again. And you now need to select apps and features. You now need to type in search apps, Edge. And we then need to click on the three dots next to Microsoft Edge. And you then need to click on modify. You now need to click on repair. And this is going to download and reinstall Microsoft Edge to Windows 11. Once that has finished, Edge will automatically open. And as you can see, that has resolved the issue on my computer. But if you are still having problems with Edge not opening, then the next thing you need to do is just close down Edge. Or if it's flickering on your screen, then sign out of Windows and sign back in again. And you then need to open up the start menu and you now need to type in Edge. You now need to right click on Microsoft Edge and you then need to go open file location. You now need to right click on Microsoft Edge and then click on show more options and you then need to click on properties. You now need to click on compatibility and you then need to tick the option that says run this program as an administrator. You then need to press apply and okay and you can now go ahead and launch Microsoft Edge and see if that resolved the issue you're having. If that didn't fix the problem, then we now need to close this down Open up the start menu and you now need to type in CMD. You now need to run command prompt as an administrator and you now need to type in the following. You need to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then press enter. This will now scan for any corrupted or missing files and if it does detect any issues with your Windows files then it will attempt to repair those files. So let this run and once it has finished, restart your computer and then launch Microsoft Edge and hopefully that has fixed the issue of not being able to open it. So once that has finished and if you're still not able to launch Microsoft Edge, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and select settings. You now need to click onto system and you then need to scroll down and we now need to click on troubleshoot. You now need to click on other troubleshooters and you then need to wait for this to load and then scroll down and we're now looking for Windows Store apps. You now need to click on run and you then need to allow this to run and if it does detect any issues you need to follow the steps. As you can see here it's saying UAC is turned off. That's not what is going to be causing Microsoft Edge to not work on my computer nor will it make an effect on yours. So you can skip this step. So once this has finished 
it shouldn't detect any issues with mine now because mine is working but like I said if it does detect an issue with yours then follow the steps once you have done that and if that still didn't resolve the issue with edge opening the next thing i'd recommend is creating a new user account and then seeing if you have the issue with the new user if you don't then it would be easier to transfer all your files to that account and then use that account instead so if none of those methods did help fix edge on your windows 11 computer then the next thing i would suggest you do is reset windows this is pretty annoying because that means removing all the apps and programs and windows settings on your computer so to do this all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to click on settings and you now need to click on system then scroll down and you then need to click on recovery. You now need to click on reset PC next to reset this PC. And you will then want to click on keep my files. So this will keep all your files, but like I said, it will remove the apps and Windows settings and anything else you have installed in Windows. Just ensure you have backed up any important files before doing this, just in case anything was to go wrong. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below and if you want to see more computer sluggish videos then hit that subscribe button and if you do subscribe i will see you in the next video